All right, hey guys, what's up? It's Stephen Dunn with Core Therapy and Pilates. I'm the founder of Pilates for PTs. And today I'm sitting out on the back porch with my two boxers. It's beautiful in Austin, Texas. Let's see my girl, Reese. Hey girl, what you doing? We're just hanging out on the back porch. Um, again, it's beautiful out. We've been walking, had a nice walk this morning, and my other dog's laying over there in the sun. But, uh, but anyway, I just want to ask you a quick question about email marketing and tell a quick story. Um, are you making yourself available through your email? Are you making yourself available through text to your patients? Um, a lot of people say that you shouldn't do that. Uh, it's kind of frowned upon. Um, well, I think it's, that's completely uh, false and wrong information. And I want to give a quick story of one woman who I haven't seen in probably two years. So, you know, it's been, last time I saw her, I was already in a cash setting. I'd already progressed or changed from taking insurance to cash only. So she knows I'm cash only. She sent me an email. She's been, I haven't seen her in maybe three years, but it's been some time. I still remember her. I know who she is, what she looks like. And she sends me a message, an email message saying, hey, Stephen, I, um, I need some, I need to get in. You know, you helped me a lot back then. Um, I've fallen off the wagon with my program. and. I need to get back in, but I really, you know, I can't afford your um, your fees at this time. Is there any way you can uh, work with me? And so I, this was, um, she sent me an email on Saturday, and I sent her a message on Monday saying, "Oh well, today's our Cyber Monday deal." And I told her that you know we had a, you could buy a five pack with me and get a hundred dollar coupon, a hundred dollars off. So you know, but you had to spend over a, over a thousand, you know, right around a thousand bucks to get that discount, um, and so. That was one option. I also told her about my payment plan option that she could come see me once a week for three or four weeks or five weeks or however many we needed, and she could pay me once a month until that time until that was paid off. Um, and then I offer also offered her to come in and see the new PT that's working with me, and I told her I'd give her a little discount to see him um, on a per session thing, so that she wouldn't have to pay it so much up front um, to get the uh, the discount with the coupon with the five pack. And I just replied to her, and I cc'd my uh, front desk, and I said, please uh, reply all if you replied to this. And um, and then my front desk was able to get her on the book, and that was Monday um, at lunchtime. And today it's Wednesday, two days later at lunchtime, and I'm gonna see her at uh, either two or three today or four today, one of, the, one of my afternoon spots. So she's back in, I don't know if she did the five pack to get that coupon. Uh, I don't know if she's gonna do a payment plan. Uh, she obviously isn't seeing my other PT, so she chose to see me. So I just wanted to share that with you, but because she just sent me a random email, and because I send her emails every week, because I send her blogs, because I send her information every week, um, I'm in her world. Um, she remembers me, she knows that when it's time to look, look for help, she, call, she comes to me first. And because I put myself out there, it makes it very easy for her to get in um, to my world. Um, one more story from email. This is another client who I nurtured for over a year to get in before she finally came in. Uh, made some great progress with her. Um, she's been out for about two weeks with some uh, a procedure, procedure that she had done. And she's going to be out for a few more weeks. But she sent me this long email message. Uh, she just hit reply to one of my weekly emails, and it, they all come to me. And she said she was giving me a, a summary of what's been going on since she had her surgery and her procedure, and and some conflicting information she got from the PA versus the surgeon, and how she flared herself up doing what the PA said, and then she called and talked to the surgeon. And the surgeon like got on to her, said that's not what you should be doing, and she didn't want to get the PA in trouble. So she's like, he's like, who told you that? And she's like, I don't know. And so she played, played dumb to not get the PA in trouble. And now she's in a whole lot of pain. And so it was one of those things. It was a long, long message, long email telling me what was going on and how much time, more time she had before she could come in, come back in to see us. And in that process of, of what I did is she was very like anxious and, and nervous and, ex and not in a good place as she's writing this long email, right? <laughs> And so my message to her was, hey, take a, take, take a second, take a deep breath. Um, let's think about the people who care about you. Let's, let's think about the people who, um, who love you and the people who have supported you through this process. Um, and I told her I'd pray for her. And, and, and that was my message. And it was pretty, pretty short and pretty quick. And, um, and she replied back within you know, a short, short, short period. Um, just saying how she was sorry for venting with me and that she's sorry for emailing me, but that she was so grateful for the words that I, um, that I, my response, because it was something that was, was had really helped her once since she had read it. 
And words are super powerful, guys. Words are super powerful. And she's getting all this freaking nocebo effect from her, um, from her MD and the, you know, every, all, all of that world. They're all like killing her with like, oh, you can't ever move again, and blah 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 blah. They're killing her with words, and and all I did was kind of tell her to breathe and take some deep breaths and and just process some things and not be so stressed and uh, and it was very powerful so I wanted to share that with y'all today um, a lot of people say email marketing is dead I've said that before on the video recently and um, you know it's not people a lot of people aren't open on the emails but whenever they need the help they come to me because I'm the one doing it no one else around here as a physical therapist is doing this kind of stuff um, or if they are my there, there's there's let, let me rephrase that there's a few cash patient uh, PTs around me but how much of this they're doing? I don't know. I'm not really sure about that. Probably some. But I know we're nurturing in a way and I'm making myself available in a way that people appreciate today. People really appreciate. So that's the message today. Put yourself out there. Make yourself available. Um, get to know your patients. Uh, when these patients email me, even though it's been three years, I know exactly who she is. When she comes in, I know a little bit about her already. And when I see her and I start talking to her, more is going to come back. Um, but I just wanted to share that um, because, again, a simple email and then two days later she's on my book because of my being available to her. So thanks for hopping on. I can't see who's there, but I appreciate y'all watching. And if y'all have any questions or comments, put them below. Uh, give me a, any questions uh, or comments. You can also direct message me as well. And y'all take care.